Hello, everyone. Welcome to this third session of the Georgia Department of Education District Trainings. This one is entitled How to Assess Student Needs and Identify Areas of Growth. I'm Dr. Cheryl Harris, a Senior Technical Assistance Consultant with the Regional Educational Lab Southeast. The Regional Educational Labs are in 10 locations across the United States, and they are funded by the U.S. Department of Education's Institute of Education Sciences. We work with state and local education agencies to provide resources and support efforts to improve education for all children. The regional education laboratories um, provide different types of support. As you can see here, uh, we work in partnership with our states and develop in consultation with these state agencies and district staff to address priority education issues in the region. The disclaimer is located here that you can access and see in the provided resource of these slides. But let me talk today about our agenda. After we do our introductions, we'll lead you through the session of how to assess student needs and identify areas of growth by talking about the importance of understanding students' experiences and our featured resource, the Copilot Elevated Tool. The Copilot Elevate Tool will also be compared to other school climate resources that you may have access to so that you can see the differences and benefits of using this tool. And during our wrap up and next steps, we will share ideas that you can use as a team or to encourage your school leaders to view and consider this resource. So today I'm happy to introduce to you our featured speaker who is Dr. Jamila Conway Turner, who's also a senior researcher here at the Regional Educational Lab. And then later on, we'll have Helen Musani, a researcher with the Regional Educational Lab Southeast who will wrap up our session today. So thank you for being here, Dr. Conway Turner. We are glad to turn this session over to you and to learn more about this excellent resource. Thank you so much, Cheryl. So to start off today, I'm going to talk a little bit about the importance of understanding students' experiences. So we know because of the COVID-19 pandemic that all students have been affected as well as educators and all of us. Um, but I think it's really important to really highlight the impact that students have had from the pandemic. And we know that there have been disproportion disproportionate impact on student, certain groups of students and that these students face unique challenges with coming back to school, um, with you know, the amount of learning that was able to take place during the pandemic, during remote learning. And so as we think about coming back in the fall to school, it's really important for schools and districts to think about how to best support these students to ensure student success. And so we know that their students are going to come with a variety of academic social, emotional, and behavioral needs. And so it's really important for us to think about how we can understand those students' experiences, both to understand the student experiences in the school and the classroom, to understand students' motivation and, and ability to focus, and as well as teachers' ability to address academic, social, emotional, and behavioral needs. And in order to really look at and measure students' experiences, I'm going to highlight a resource called Copilot Elevate. And this resource, this resource tool, is really a data-driven way to help understand what the students' experiences are in the classroom for teachers to be able to help support students' academic and social emotional learning. It is considered to be a way to get rapid feedback from students. So teachers are able to give this tool to their students in order to be able to get quick feedback about what is happening in the classroom, to understand key learning conditions, to be able to improve those practices to help best support students. 
In addition to this tool, the Copilot Elevate also provides best practices for improving those conditions in the classroom. And research has showed that the best practices that are highlighted result in higher and more equitable academic achievement. I'm going to go ahead and show a short video that helps to explain how Copilot Elevate works. It can be challenging for educators to equitably support students to engage and learn to the best of their abilities. Educators are expected to understand and serve the varying needs of each of their students, even as they evolve. That can be overwhelming, but educators are not alone. Pertz has designed Copilot Elevate to be a trusty sidekick. Uh, not that sidekick. Okay, that's better. Copilot Elevate is a data-driven professional learning program. It helps educators elevate students' voices and systematically surface students' needs. It also provides best practices so that educators can create engaging learning experiences that support academic and social-emotional learning equitably. And Pertz has designed Copilot Elevate with educators across the country to be flexible and accessible anytime, anywhere, efficient, requiring little time, and effective. Over 90% of teachers who have used Copilot have successfully improved how their students experience their classroom along one or more learning conditions. And in a recent study, students who experienced positive conditions were 30% more likely to earn an A or a B in a particular class. And that effect was even bigger for students of color. Copilot Elevate is designed as a systematic, continuous improvement process. Here's how it works. Students complete a five to 10 minute customizable survey that sheds light on the way students are experiencing critical classroom conditions. For example, to understand if students feel safe, valued, and respected as learners, students are asked if they agree with statements like, I feel like my teacher is glad that I'm in their class. And I feel like my teacher cares what I think. And it can be really challenging uh, to be so vulnerable with this data but it immediately, you know, takes, puts the energy on us to change things up. And, you know, you can think this whole time that all the children feel loved unless you ask them. So we ask them, and now I have the data to know that that's not really the case. So I have to change my ways. Educators receive a confidential, easy to read, actionable report with disaggregated data that shows how students' experiences are promoting or hindering equitable learning. Educators have access to rich content that includes research about how each learning condition affects engagement and equity, and strategies and activities that can help educators cultivate each learning condition in their classrooms. Educators have the opportunity to continue learning and improving with students by repeating the process or engaging in a new cycle. Copilot Elevate navigation is easy and intuitive. In the navigation bar on the left, you'll find stages where you can access a task list that guides Copilot Elevate implementation and helps track progress. The navigation bar on the left also provides shortcuts to key features and options that are otherwise part of the scaffolded experience in stages. There are two primary roles in Copilot Elevate. The project lead makes administrative decisions like how to customize the survey and when to survey students. Project leads can also invite project members to participate and collaborate. Both project leads and members can implement Copilot Elevate with their students. They can set up their rosters, receive confidential reports, complete learning modules, and participate in virtual discussions. Copilot Elevate is an exciting tool that can empower teachers to nurture students' motivation and engagement and continue their own learning and development journey. I already feel like I'm a better teacher. You know, when you've been teaching 25 years and you can have a moment where you feel better from something this simple, it's pretty profound. To learn more, visit perts.net slash elevate. We at Perts truly look forward to supporting you as you work to enhance engagement, excellence, and equity for your students. So I hope 
that short video was able to give you a little bit more information about how Copilot Elevate works. You all have access to these slides, and so you'll be able to click on this link, watch this video again, and show your colleagues. Um, also, this link takes you to the PERTS website, which can give you more information about Copilot Elevate as well. I was going to reiterate a little bit about how Copilot Elevate works. So the first step is to hear from students. You give the students the survey and it only takes about five to 10 minutes to complete. So it's a very quick way to assess what's happening in the classroom. And then the teachers will get, you will get a report that allows you to be able to review the feedback from your students and better understand where there's areas for growth. And then you have access to practices and strategies to help really target those areas for growth to make an impact on students. And then you're able to monitor progress. So the idea behind Copilot Elevate is that you assess students multiple times throughout the year so that you're able to look and see how things are changing over time, where there's new areas of growth. Um, so be able to really track and monitor your progress. So I just want to take a moment to talk a little bit about the cost for Copilot Elevate. The great news is, is that Copilot Elevate is free for teachers, schools, and districts to use. And using the free version, it allows you to have access to the survey, to set up the dates for the survey to be administered to students and receive reports. There are paid licenses that you can get for Copilot Elevate that schools and colleges can use, but it's for people who need a much larger scale of implementation. It involves extra resources such as some administrative reporting features and also some help with district-wide planning and implementation. Um, but largely the resource is free to be able to use in the classroom. These are the measures for Copilot Elevate. The survey has different measures on affirming cultural identity, classroom belonging, feedback for growth, meaningful work, student voice, and teacher caring. You'll see a link here also on this slide, which takes you to uh, a resource that tells you a little bit more information about each of those survey measures to be able to make decisions about which ones you want to use to measure in the classroom. For example, for affirming cultural identity, it looks at different ways that students feel connected and motivated in the classrooms that affirm their background. You can use Copilot Elevate as a plan, do, study, act cycle or a PDSA cycle. It allows you to first identify areas of growth after administering the survey. You can see different areas where students um, may not be feeling as supported in the classroom and ways that you as a teacher can help to boost their achievement. It identifies and help you implement evidence-based practices by providing resources. Um, you can monitor progress, so you can look and see how things are changing over time. And then you can modify practices in the classroom to be able to improve students' outcomes. In order to identify areas of growth, Copilot Elevate produces a report for each measure that you've selected to give to students and also gives a breakdown by different subgroup in the classroom. So you're really able to see how different students are responding to different measures that you have chosen for students. You can also identify and implement evidence-based practices. So Copilot Elevate lists evidence-based practices on their website to try to help and target the specific areas that you measured. In addition to that resource, we at Ralph Southeast produced a research synthesis that also includes evidence-based practices. The research synthesis includes practices on academic interventions, non-academic interventions, data and technology, and also special populations as well to help you and your teams identify evidence-based practices to implement in the classroom. 
we help monitor progress. So we also developed an action planning template that you can use to help monitor what practices you used, what practices you implemented, um, how things have changed over time, and what your next steps are to figuring out how to best improve student outcomes. Also, Copilot Elevate allows you to see progress over time to help monitor progress to help monitor how things are going in the classroom. So you can see on this slide, this is an example of what it might look like in the report. You can see the different dots on that chart represent how students scored at different times over the course of the year. And you can see that for identity safety, that is improving over time. So it allows you to be able to see how things are changing over the course of the year as you implement different practices. So I also wanna take a moment to compare Copilot Elevate to school climate. I know that in Georgia, that there is a school climate star rating that is calculated by using student health data, personnel data, parent data, student discipline data, and also attendance records for students, teachers, staff, and administrators. And we know that measuring school climate is really important for looking at um, student outcomes as well. And so I just wanna take a moment to really compare both school climate and Copilot Elevate. So school climate produces a school level data report. So we know what's happening at the school level Whereas Copilot Elevate looks at the classroom level. It looks at what's happening specifically in the classroom. School climate is collected once a year and Copilot Elevate data is collected many times across the year. So you can see specific changes that are happening. The school climate star rating produces a holistic view of the school while Copilot Elevate produce, produces cl classroom specific information for the teacher. I think it's really important to note that these are both important resources to have and when you use them together, they can really help complement each other to be able to provide really interesting and important information about what's happening at the school level and also what's happening at the classroom level. So this is a reflection question for you to think about uh, as we are wrapping up here today to think about how you can use Copilot Elevate with your school and district teams. And now I'm going to turn it over to Helen to wrap up. Thank you, Jamila, for that valuable information. And as we wrap up, I just wanted to remind everyone about the resources that we have available related to this webinar series. We also have available for you to download the Copilot Elevate resource, the research synthesis and the action planning template. The synthesis is a resource of evidence-based research to assist districts to plan resource allocation strategies with the goal of improving student performance. The topics include academic interventions, social emotional learning, special populations, instructional technology and online learning. In addition, the action planning template is a resource for districts and schools to map out evidence-based strategies and ways to monitor whether the plan changes are supporting students. In addition to today's webinar, we also have the recordings from the two previous webinars from the series, which include tools you can use to address student learning needs and addressing collective trauma and supporting the well-being of students and school staff. Thank you for participating in this webinar series.